The Mystery of Gravity Ever since Isaac Newton watched an apple fall from a tree, gravity has been a fundamental force of our universe. Newton described it with elegant simplicity, an invisible force that pulls objects toward one another, with a strength that depends on their mass and the distance between them. His law of universal gravitation was a scientific triumph, allowing astronomers to predict the movement of planets with astonishing accuracy. For nearly two centuries, the Newtonian view was the only explanation we had, and it worked so well that people stopped thinking of it as a mystery and accepted it as fact. However, in the early 20th century, Albert Einstein realized that Newton's view was incomplete. He observed that Mercury's orbit deviated slightly from what Newton's law predicted, a small anomaly that pointed to a much bigger problem. Einstein's answer was his theory of general relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Instead of a force, Einstein proposed that gravity is a warping in the fabric of space-time, a curvature caused by mass and energy. Planets don't orbit the sun because they are pulled by a force. They follow the shortest path through the space-time that the sun's mass has curved. Einstein's theory predicted phenomena like black holes and the expansion of the universe, and it was validated over time. Despite Einstein's breakthroughs, the mystery of gravity is not entirely solved. The greatest current challenge is reconciling general relativity, which describes gravity on a large scale, with quantum mechanics, which describes the universe at the level of subatomic particles. These two theories, which are the foundation of modern physics, are incompatible with each other. Scientists are searching for a theory of quantum gravity that can unify them. This holy grail of theoretical physics could explain why gravity is so incredibly weak compared to other forces like electromagnetism and could give us a complete understanding of how the universe works, from the scale of the smallest particles to the largest galaxies.